Hello. That was, of course, Danny Boy. Uh, and I'm going to move on to a piece that I haven't played in a bit, I don't think. Uh, but this is a piece that I wrote called uh, The Beacon Manor.
uh, that was uh, first set was Beacon Manor. Uh, God, what was the second? Uh, Autumn Autumn Morales and uh, Duck River, and then the second set was Rights of Man. Mm. Mm. Uh, Rights of Man, uh, Whiskey Before Breakfast, and the Mason's Apron. Hey Penguin, how hey Mama, how how are you all doing? Um. Let's keep warming up. Something I'm familiar with. Let's do Kitty Lie Over and Beacon Hill Jig. Maybe some other jigs as well. Thank you. 
long since I played that one. set. How's that one go?
It was a piece called Sophie's Lullaby, which I found on the session. Uh, and a request for The Ghost and By Glimmer Light. So yeah, that's what we'll play next. Thank you. 
That's the second set there. Uh, King of the Fairies and Cottage in the Grove. I think I want to pull out some pieces that I haven't been practicing as much and get just get a little time on them. Um, one that I, a pair that I wanted to pull out was Log Cabin and Streets of Paradise. That's the wrong one. Um, there it is.
Hey, Electra. Thanks so much for 18 months of support. A year and a half. That's such a long time. Um, I haven't played the Milik team in a bit. You need something to listen to to drown out the incredibly loud Hallmark movies from across the hall? Woof. There was a some sort of party or gathering in the common area uh, earlier today, and it was... Turns out children are very loud, and I was... If, if that had continued, I might not have been able to stream today.
those last two sets were all compositions of mine. Uh, it was oh gosh, what's the, the Windowsill and M's Reel, uh, and then Little Creek and Bumblebee March. I think Bumblebee March shares some amount of similarity with uh, Lullaby for a Cat, which is another one of my compositions. Um, let's have a go around at the Mathematician, the tune I've been practicing a lot lately because it needs a lot of practice. <laughs> it is a tough tune. Thank you. 
That was uh, John Brown, the Emancipator, after the Battle of Ogram, and Campbell's Farewell to Red Gap. Um... Did that one today. Let's take a run through Edward Kokorin. Corcoran. This piece could use some practice.
That was David's Jig, which is a Natalie McMaster tune. Sometimes you just gotta saw on a piece until you get better at it. <laughs> um. Let's play Murphy's Hound. This piece is fun. But also, it needs practice, like many things today. Today is definitely more of a let's dig into the backlog, spend some time on some things, because I'm not quite as constrained on time. Uh, though I don't have a specific end time in mind, I'll basically just keep going until I feel it is too risky to con continue. <laughs> or I get really tired, whichever.
It's a pair of uh, fairly new tunes for me. Uh, the Otter's Holt and uh, her long dark hair flowing down her back, which is, from what I understand, the short version of that name. Um, both are tunes by Junior Korean, um, who don't know a lot about other than these tunes are good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to write them down in a set. I'm going to add uh, her long dark flowing hair. Her long dark hair. I think I'm just going to call it her long dark hair. So I can, you know, say a name that's shorter than the piece. Uh, so I'm going to add that to my tune list and make them a set, I think. about Ooh, I was meaning to play uh, what's it called um, Brian Burrows and Miss McDermott's so let's do that
That was Ships Are Sailing, The Halting March, and Frosty Morning. Uh, and I think I'm going to move to my closing set now because my tinnitus kicked up real hard uh, over the past few minutes. <laughs> I think it has something to do with the, the whistling that my E string has been doing because this, this string whistles a lot and also it's wearing out. Unfortunately, all I can do at this point is wait for my new strings to finally come in, which I understand is close, but I don't know when. Um, but yeah, that's... So I'm going to move to my closing set. Um, and I think I think a good two-hour stream is, is nice. I should eat some food and stuff like that anyways. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out. I'll do proper sign-off and stuff after.
All right, friends, that is going to do it for me today. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. Uh, yeah, my, my ear is really bugging me now. Um, anyways, uh, if you're not already following, please do hit that follow button. Greatly increases your chances of making your way back here in the future, which I think is a great deal for everybody involved. Uh, maybe consider subscribing, uh, sending sending me some of that money. Uh, maybe maybe support me on coffee. I should do more things over that coffee. I should update that. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. Uh, there's a Discord, uh, which is cozy and nice. Uh, there's a YouTube channel where the archives go to live. Uh, the archives for this video will be up within the next couple of hours, depending on how long it takes YouTube to process it. Uh, what else we got? There's a Ravelry group for those of you that like knitting. Uh, and last but not least, I'm a member of the cool internet band, The Garages. And I'd love if you checked out our music. All right, who's online? Um, you know what? Let's go raid uh, Rudism. It is rare for Rudism to be online. Uh, um, when I'm when I'm online, uh, Rudism, very good. Uh, a uh, very good streamer from New Zealand, known for, sorry, from Australia, uh, known for uh, custom controllers, like some really wild custom controllers. Uh, he is currently doing uh, four Nuzlocks on one controller, which is a Pokemon thing. Um, so we're going we're gonna to go over and say hi to him. Uh, and yeah, I hope you all have hope you all have a good afternoon, or whatever time zone it is for you. I will be back on Monday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight. Uh, have a good one. <laughs>